back with another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to color grade or color correct in Filmora 7.8. I believe that's the newest version. They just released this new color correction software. So I thought I'd teach you guys how to use it. Color grading and color correction can make your video look so much better. And I'll also be teaching you how to create a film look for any of you cinematographers, you filmmakers, or even vloggers who are looking to make high quality videos and add some sort of cinematic feel to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want to check out the other Filmora tutorials I made um, in this previous two weeks, you guys can check it out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get Now that I'm it. in Filmora, I want to insert a photo or a video, any sort of media. And I just want to drop it into the timeline here. You can either drag or you can press that plus button to add it to the timeline. And as you can see, there's a picture of me right now. And as you can also see, my face is a little bit reddish. And I want to color correct it so that it's a little bit more true to real life. So it's more realistic as my face isn't really red like that in real life. So color correction is essentially making the picture more realistic, altering the lighting and the colors and the hues just so it matches like a real life situation. While color grading is more like adding a sort of artistic look onto the image or the video, like filmmakers use uh, like the film look as people say it to make it more look more cinematic, make it look a lot more intense than it is. So most of the time it'll be actually the opposite of color correction and it'll look a lot different than what it would in real life. So an example of this is maybe in the cold snow, you can make the blues a lot stronger than it actually would be and maybe a lot darker so it creates that intense feeling. So let me just proceed with the actual color correction of this. So it's actually pretty simple. All you really have to do is press on the layer right here. So as you can see, something pops up right here. So if you unclick it, obviously these like four options disappear. The one you wanna press on is uh, advanced color tuning, which in Filmora's language or whatever <laughs> is uh, basically color correction, color grading. So as you can see here, there's some options on the side. There's even presets for LUT. So you can actually download presets if you want to, I guess, find a certain look you want. So maybe you want like the walking dead here. It changes the lighting a bit, you know, like black and white, obviously it changes the lighting. There's also some basic presets here. So it's more like general, so warm and cool and warm max. Well, these templates are more specific. So house of cards, Harry Potter, you know, those sorts of stuff. So the first thing I want to do is actually change the white balance as my face is red, like I said before. So what I would do is make the temperature a little bit colder. So maybe like something like that would be more realistic as my face is like a lot like it's, it's actually looks like that. And I can also change the tint if it doesn't really match up as well, just off the temperature. So if I move a left, it'd be, become more green, obviously and right is more purplish. Now I'm going to go into color and you can change the exposure, the brightness, the contrast, saturation and vibrance. This picture is pretty dark and I was in a sunny area. So I'm going to increase the exposure here. So as you can see, it's a little bit brighter. It looks more, you know, true to life. I'm also going to increase the brightness a little bit, not too much as the exposure is already high. The contrast looks fine. So I'm not going to change that. I don't want to make it too contrasty. Um, saturation looks a little bit off, maybe a little more and vibrance a little down. And now I can actually change the light as well. So highlight shadows, whites and blacks, HSL as well. So HSL is changing specific colors. So you can actually select the color you want and you can change the hue and saturation in that. So as you can see, if I chose like yellow, you can, these, you can see those leaves right there. If I change the saturation, it turns like purple. But now that I'm done with color correction, I'm going to teach you how you can use some color grading in your videos. So as I already talked about, there's LUT presets. I really recommend you guys check that out because they have a lot of presets that will actually help you guys out. But from my experience, usually to create a film look, which is what I'm trying to get at right now, you usually make the exposure and brightness a little less, the contrast up and the saturation and vibrance lower. What this does is make the video look a lot more intense because there's less color. It's not totally black and white. You can see the color, but it, it just gives that intense feeling. I actually have a second channel where I make films and vlog. So I use this effect a lot and I tend to like using like blue colors, like cold colors as I don't know, it just creates a better look like film look uh, rather than like yellow lights like this. If this was like, let's just lower saturation. It doesn't look as good as like if we were to do this because this is more towards black and white than yellow is. So I feel like it looks a lot better and fits it a lot better that way. So right now the temperature looks fine. I'm going to lower the exposure though. So something like this and we're going to turn down and we're going to increase the contrast a little bit 
we're gonna turn the saturation a little bit higher actually actually a little bit lower and the vibrance a little bit lower also i think the brightness is a little bit too low so something like that would look good highlights we can change that as well i'm actually gonna make it a little bit brighter actually just so the background's a little bit more visible for shadows are gonna make it a lot darker actually for shadows are gonna lower it for the whites you can change like the pure white colors so as you can see i'm gonna make the the background a little bit bigger right there and i'm gonna change the blacks so i'm gonna make it dark really dark so as you can see that's a lot scarier and a lot more intense than it once it was before and i know this isn't a video but it will have the same effect on a video as well this is similar to editing in lightroom like photographers always use some sort of effects or like alter the highlights the shadows the whites the blacks the hsl the colors so it's just a great way so if you want to compare it to what it was previously before you can press this a b thing on the right there's also an i if you want to like check from before and after but i'm going to press right here and i'm going to press side by side view and as you can see it's much different this one looks scarier in my opinion just because all the blacks are really really like out there and you can see it while this is more like calm and neutral so as you can see now i look like a zombie and it looks really cool i actually apply this effect a lot in my films i also do this for like school projects i actually made a video on how to make a horror film look in filmora as well and i use basically the same principles as i did in this video another thing you can do is actually add overlays and stuff as filmora does provide these and they actually might make it look a lot better so there's actually like grainy things so like old film it'll add grain and add vintage things to it and filters as well so it alter the colors if you really want that so blue skies is one of my personal favorites and yeah that's about it hope you guys did enjoy it if it did help you out hit that thumbs up button uh, my name's steven and i'll see you in the next one